Psychic Chris Fleming claims Ghost violated him on Haunted Scott's prison visit. The renowned medium was filming for new series Spooked Scotland with Gail Porter when they visited the prison in search of a reported poltergeist. Telly psychic Chris Fleming has claimed he was violated by a ghost while visiting Sterling's historic Old Town Jail. The renowned medium was filming for new series Spooked Scotland with Gail Porter when they visited the prison in search of a reported poltergeist. Chris was in a room used 170 years ago for prisoners' medical exams, when he felt what he described as an embarrassing and not pleasant experience. Looking visibly shaken he was forced to flee the room and said he was in no doubt the spirit had carried out the violation in order to make him leave the jail. American Chris, 54, who previously worked with Gail on the TV show Dead Famous, said, We were in the room listening to a guide telling their story, when all of a sudden I had this feeling that I can only equate to what it feels like for a man to get a prostate exam. You see a doctor who puts a glove on and does the exam, that's exactly what this felt like. There are times when people have been sexually violated by demonic entities, that obviously popped into my head. I'm not saying this is what this was. It wasn't. I think it was more to do with what the prisoners went through when they were there, having these medical exams. Chris, a paranormal researcher, said he hadn't known the room he was in had a medical history until after the incident. He said, the guide ended up telling us that they used to do tests like that, proctology exams, in that room, which I hadn't known. The question is whether the spirit was actually doing that to me or was it residual energy I was picking up from what happened there? Earlier on his visit to Sterling's Old Town Jail Chris was left screaming with pain after feeling the sensation of a needle being stabbed into his back. The Spook Scotland team were carrying out investigations in a basement corridor of the former prison when he felt the searing pain. He said, I got psychic stabbed, although I don't like attaching the word psychic to it. I felt like I was being stabbed with a needle. It went in very deep. The wound felt right next to where my spine is, but it was in the muscle and tissue. I didn't want to move, because I felt if I moved it would cause me more damage. I think I was stabbed because the spirit there was doing what it had previously done to somebody else, or it may have been there was a spirit that had been stabbed in that vicinity and I was picking up on that memory. Chris, who claims to have had his first psychic experience as a three-year-old, said he now has little fear when communicating with ghosts and he revealed spirits know who to reach out to. He said, I have a long history of having experiences with spirits going back to my childhood. When spirits see us they don't look at us physically, they don't look at our eyes, our cheekbones, the color of hair, they look at us basically as energy fields. They recognize the people who have had experience with a different realm, because our energy shows that. They can see this person has had a near-death experience, or, this person is very sensitive to different realms. Spirits can see spiritual mediums like me have an aura or a soul that glows differently to people who have not had spiritual experiences. I had my first such experience when I was three years old. I woke up one night crying because I'd had this dream about my sister drowning, and I thought she had died. My mum had ESP, extrasensory perception. She would have dreams that would come true. She listened to my dream about seeing my sister drown and she told me what I should do if something like that ever happened. Six months later that very event did happen, and because my mum had rehearsed with me what to do I ran to tell her, and everybody raised to save my sister who otherwise would have drowned. About that time I realized I had a spirit with me who was around all the time. Some people might have called him my imaginary friend, but he wasn't an imaginary friend. He was actually with me and very real. Over the years I've learned so much about different entities and spirits. I've had so many experiences and I've learned what I need to do to stay in control. What happened at Sterling Old Town Jail was amazing. I was stabbed when downstairs, then upstairs I had this other experience, so in my mind it was obvious the spirit didn't like me being there. When you have negative spirits, they will try to find out your fears and what you are uncomfortable with. I didn't like what happened there, but I've had much worse happen to me including being possessed. 
Sterling Old Town Jail was built in 1847 and served as a prison for more than 40 years before becoming a military detention barracks. The barracks were decommissioned and the prison closed in 1936. The historic building is now a popular visitor attraction. Chris said he loved filming in Scotland for the new 10-part show, which is made by Glasgow-based Turn TV and explores the nation's rich history of haunting and the supernatural. He added, there are so many layers of history in Scotland, which means so many spirits. Spoop Scotland starts May 27th on Really, and will be available to stream on Discovery+.